Idea Sheet video episode 6 is all about coloring and we use Tombow watercolor markers so I'm going to show you first how to do the coloring on this and I'll give you the marker colors as well for when I color each item on here. I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to use my very favorite container which is the box and stamp in our quick drying pad for watercolors. Stamp my box. And then I'm going to mask it off and have a couple flower pots stacked in it. And then one off to the side. So there's my box. I'm going to take my fur branch stamp. Normally I stamp that in hunter green, but this time I'm going to stamp it in black. I'm going to go down here. I have one that has gotten away. Some on the other side that escaped as well. And then in my box, in the flower pots in the box, I'm going to have stick weeds sticking out. My three leaves stamp. My open three leaves so I can color it in. And I'm leaving a few gaps so I have room to put flowers. So here is my basic scene. And the colors that I'm going to use for the box, for the Tombow watercolor markers, are 977 and 942. Those are my box colors. 942 is a soft, kind of teddy bear brown. And I'm using the side of the marker. I'm not coming over and doing little tiny marks. I'm actually putting swipes of color. Now here is the light color I'm going to use. The 977 is a much darker color and if I go over it I'm always going to have this divided line in my colors. So I'm going to tap my light brown to my dark brown and I can get the colors to blend. does not hurt my light marker in the least to do this because the color fades off of it. always want to use the dark very sparingly because it can overwhelm things very quickly and you can't take the dark away. And then I'm going to come back in very carefully with my dark and put where my deeper shadows would be. If you get a swipe that's a little too dark, come in and put a little light brown by it. So there's my box color my flower pot, I'm essentially going to use 985, which is a golden color, and 856, which is a red. You can also, if you want, put a little 942 in it, which is what we did on the idea sheet as well. It ages it a little bit. But for this time, I'm just going to use the two, the golden and the orange. I mean the golden and the red. And I don't worry that I go outside the lines a little bit and I don't worry about getting every little bit colored. So I'm going to tap my golden orange to the red because otherwise what I would have is that, the harsh red sitting on the orange. Come back and make it a little bit darker where it would be sitting down in the box. Or a little bit darker under the rim of the pot. There's my pots. I always like to check it before I put the lids on the markers because the last thing you want to do is have the wrong lid on the wrong marker and grab a dark color when you think you're grabbing a light color. 
Now to color the foliages, I'm going to use this 192 green color and 553 periwinkle blue. I'm putting little dashes of color on my fir branches. Little swipes of color on my stick weeds. And throwing a little bit on my open leaves as well. Come back in with that blue. my blue and I want to offset these leaves a little bit so I'm going to take the 133 lime and just put just a little bit of lime in there and then I'm also going to come back with the 942 tan which I originally colored the box put some dirt underneath maybe throw a few little swipes of brown in the foliages to create stems. And then before I add the flowers, I'm going to use the N95 gray, I'm not worrying about where the light source would come from. I'm just adding gray shadow around everything. It pops it off the pages. If you look at one side versus a side without shadows, the side with the shadows has a lot more dimension to it. There's the basic coloring. Now we need to add some flowers. I'm going to take my stick leaves. And just add a few flowers. Snowflake stick. Tap, tap, tap. Or squash harder. And then in my open leaves, this is my solid flower. Where I left those gaps, it's a perfect place to add the flowers. I got that. And then I need to take my dots in blue, very soft touch. And there's some basic coloring with the boxes and the flower pots. One of the other ideas I'm going to show you is I'm just going to stamp this one up. The coloring is essentially exactly the same for that box and those leaves. But I want to show you how to mask that and get that in there. So I'm going to take my box. I need to have one. Very simply take another one. This makes a fun moving card because you can put all sorts of things coming out of it like boxes are stacked. For moving, you put whisks and things popping out of it. Toilet paper, all that fun stuff. And you would just build up leaves and then color it the same as the last box. Now the last thing I want to show you for coloring on episode 6 is the color the grays in this kind of pale and these are actually just stamped in green but the grays are a blending of a light gray and a dark gray. So we're going to take this pale and stamp it. 
and it's going to be the N95 gray, the N65 gray, which is the dark gray, and I'm going to use on the handle the 942 brown, the 977 brown, and I'm actually going to use just a little bit of a 992, which is a khaki, which is nice for aging things. I'm going to start off with that soft N95 gray. Like that. So there's my N95. My N65 is significantly darker. Again, I would have that line. So I'm going to take and tap my N95 to my N65. lightly build up the color, take the dark under the handle, under the lip of the, the pail, and there's your grays. For the handle, it's the 942 tan and the 977. These I'm not going to bother blending, I'm just going to put a quick swipe. If you do it fast enough, sometimes you can get them in there. And then this is the 992 khaki. And all I'm going to do is put a few little swipes and that ages it a little bit. That's what the khaki color is. I am going to come back with my light gray and just shade in that side a little bit. Cover up my pot, or my, excuse me, my pail. Bold for a branch. There it is. I always like to put the one that's gotten away. And I am going to take the 192 green. I didn't do this on the idea sheet, but I'm going to do it here and the 553 blue, and just tie those in a little bit. I'm going to grab my pine needles and my rainbow ink pad, go into my purples, just fell out of the pail and sitting on the ground right there. And then my dots in blue. And that's some of your basic coloring. I want to show you a couple of ideas, other ideas to use with this bold fir branch that aren't on this idea sheet. If you saw the episode one with the regular fir branch, this one, the bold fir branch you can use in almost the exact same way. You can take the bold fir branch and you can loop it. To create a garland. Back on itself, like that. You can take it and stamp it about five times. It's four, five, and you have a wreath. You can either go back on itself, or sometimes it's nice just to leave it open. That's all preference. If you had a torn piece of paper. You got your grass. You can create a tree with it too, but there's a little bit of a trick to that. You take stamp two to three high, and if you just branch this out, it's gonna, your tree is going to be too wide. So I'm going to take it and actually create a mask 
And this one I just work one side of the tree at a time because it fills it in. There's one side of my tree. Turn the stamp around. And do that. And those are some of the ideas using that bold fir branch. And there's one other little thing I want to show you real quick with the open three leaves, which makes a pretty cactus if you stack it up. You can take this open three leaves and create kind of an ivy. the 192 green and if I spent all this time worrying about staying in the lines it would take me forever to color this there's my green 553 blue The 133 lime. And I'm not even worrying about coloring in the leaves. I'm just putting little dashes of color around. And the 942 brown. And I'm going to grab my snowflake, my rainbow ink pad. Go into my purples, tap, tap, tap. And you can add dots in blue. a very pretty wreath that's easy to color and very quick. Thanks for watching this episode of our Idea Sheet instructional videos. Be sure to go to our website at stampsbyjudith.com and check out other cards, ideas, and videos and see what else you can create with what you have of our images. Thanks!